वी आर गोइंग टू फ्लैटन द कुकीज एंड देन दिल स्प्रेड ठीक है जी Yep. ये बहुत ही यमी से कुकीज लग रहे हो ये मल्टाई टास्किंग हाँ लेकिन पुश डाउन ऑन दम विदल बिट ऑफ फोर्स एंड फ्लैटन दम आउट Now you don't need to grease your your baking sheet because the butter cookie already has a lot of butter in it. इसलिए आपने देखा हमने जगह छोड़ी थी बिकॉज ये स्प्रेड भी होंगे और हमें प्रेस भी करना है और फिर हम इसको रख देंगे 180 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड पे अवन में बेक होने के लिए और उसके बाद हम आ जाएंगे पिकैन टार्ट्स की फिलिंग पे अगर पिकैन आपके पास नहीं हो तो आप वॉलनट्स यूज कर सकते हैं कभी कभार पिकान यहाँ मिल जाते हैं नहीं हो तो वॉलनट्स इज द बेस्ट सब्सटीट्यूट ओके सो वे रेडी टू गोन पुट दिस इन दिन And one thing I'd have to say is, um, with some of the gas shortages in Lahore, you might need to turn your oven up a little higher than okay. what the recipe calls for. Because this morning, when we did our first batch, we had a little trouble oh, with that. Okay. Okay. And now we are going towards the um, pecan filling, right? Yes. Yeah. And basically, as we did with the first one, where we had a basic cookie dough and made variations, this time, again, you've got a basic tart shell. Whether you use this kind or something smaller like this, yeah. and We're going to play differences, different kinds of fillings. So okay. we'll show you how to do one with this. Have you used short crust pastry dough? Yes. Yes. Okay. Short crust pastry dough. बहुत दफा मैं आपको करा चुकी हूँ शो पे भी. आपको पता है. आपने सीखा है मुझसे. Basic uh, short crust pastry इन्होंने बनाई थी और इन्होंने ये छोटे-छोटे tartlets में डाल दिया था. आप किसी भी छोटे uh, muffin uh, tin में भी डाल सकते हैं. अगर आपको थोड़े मज़ेद बड़े बनाने हों, तो medium size से cupcake tin में भी बना सकते हैं. और फिर filling variation आप कर सकते हैं. उसमें आप कुछ भी डाल सकते हैं. आज हम कर रहे हैं. इनसे सीख रहे हैं. The pecan filling. Okay? Yes. I might I'm not sure I understood much of what you said <laughs> but one thing I would say is probably not the size of a cupcake because okay. some of these fillings are very sweet okay. although I know the Pakistanis have a very good have sweet, a sweet tooth, tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to take um actually we're going to do two things first we're going to um put a stick of butter on uh on the stove Okay and I'm going to let this um Okay, not too high, but I'm just going to let this melt. So this is stove. basically eight ounces of butter. Yes. Okay. Uh, four ounces. Okay, four ounces. Four ounce, four gram. Pika makkhan. Unhone ne pan mein dal diya hai. Ab ye mazid dusri chizhe dalenge. Usko cook karenge. Aur iska filling ready karenge. Fir ye filling ham dalenge individual ek ek chote chote tart tin mein. Aur dobara usko bake karne rakh denge. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to my favorite thing that. Food processor to chop these nuts up. Okay. And so we're going to look for a cup of chopped nuts. One cup of nuts. Liye, we need pecans. We need a few extra. And then you have whisked it in the food processor. Mein and uh... so basically, you're starting from the basic short crust pastry, which is not baked, right? No. Sorry. Um actually for the pecans we want to bake the um pastry first. You okay? have baked these, huh? I have. You? I have baked these. Dekhiye, ye individual chote hain unhone bake kar diye. Now, one of the other things with this is um we're going to make these very um small and chopped, but you want to save some big pieces okay. because we're going to put them on the top to decorate. Okay. Pecans mein aur walnuts mein bahut uh, kam fark hai, aap dekhiye. ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर लग रहे हैं ये बिल्कुल सेम लग रहे हैं ओके अब हम जा रहे हैं टूवर्स द स्टोव और क्या क्या चीज़ें डलेंगी इसमें चार आउंसेज मक्खन तो चला गया कारो डार्क कॉर्न सिरप है ये भी मिल जाता है हर जगह सुपरमार्केट में हाउ मच आर यू एडिंग I'm adding a third a cup of um, dark syrup okay. or dark one third syrup. cup. ठीक है एक तिहाई कप डार्क कॉर्न सिरप चला गया आपने देखा है शो पे बहुत दफा मैंने लाइट कॉर्न सिरप यूज किया है द वाइट वन ये डार्क कलर का होता है बहुत मजे का होता है इससे वो आपका टार्ट बहुत ही स्टिकी एंड गुई होगा दिस वन यू वॉन्ट मी टू वॉश इट येस दैट वुड बी ग्रेट थैंक यू Or maybe we have another one right here. Let me see if I can find another one. Uh, I'll use this one in the meantime. Here you go. Okay. 
Thank you. Okay. And on the red um, measuring cup. Okay, so what we've done is we've mixed the butter in with the um, caro syrup. Yes. Okay, and I just realized we're multitasking and we forgot to set the timer on the cookies. So I'm going to put on about 10 minutes, which okay. I think will be right for us and we'll be okay. okay. All right, so now we're going to add in a cup of sugar. Okay, a cup chini dali in on a castor yes. sugar. No, this is 10x sugar, icing sugar. It's icing sugar, okay? Yeah. Icing sugar, one cup, and it's a makhan, gaya, aada cup, four ounce, and dark corn syrup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anything else we add? Butter or something? Um, the butter was in there first. Okay, we yeah, added sorry. the butter, we let that melt, and then we added in the corn syrup. Now we're adding in the sugar. Okay. And what you want to do is just stir it until the sugar all dissolves inside of the um, pan. Okay, and then the nuts? And then the nuts. Should I get the nuts? Yes, that would be terrific, thanks. And sometimes the sugar can get a little lumpy, and so what we're trying to do here is just smooth out some of the lumps from the sugar. We can sift it before we add to avoid the lumps. Yes, yeah? probably. Yeah, that's not a bad because idea. Because uh, I don't know about Lahore, but in Karachi, uh, we get a lot of lumpy sugar because of the air. Ah, yeah. okay, moisture in the yeah, air. Moisture. Okay, so let's add in those nuts. All of we, them. Yeah. And we're going to bring this to a boil and let it boil for a minute or two. Okay, okay. Nuts daldi. Makhan pehle hi gaya tha, dark corn syrup gaya, or icing sugar. Tick hai ji? Aur ye, aap dekh rahe hai, it's all coming together, it's becoming nice and gooey. It gets almost like a toffee. Yeah. And then you put a teaspoon into each? Um, exactly. Or more? Um, about a teaspoon, we'll yeah. see. It, you know, with this the... tiny bite yes, size. Yes, these are very tiny, but packed with a lot of sweetness. <laughs> I could eat five of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then think of how much time you spend at the gym. Pehle ye tart jo tha, unhone bake kiya tha, theek hai? Kacche mein nahi dal dijiyega. Ye bake kariyega. How long did you bake them? Eight to ten minutes or less? Um, about ten to twelve. Ten. Again, okay. because I think the ovens are just a little bit, um, okay. you know, not quite what they normally are. 10 to 12 minutes, they had a short crust pastry dough that was put in the tin. They baked it, they gave it to the good taste, and then you made a filling and you made a filling. And you can also freeze it. 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 And when you use it, you can use it. Okay, so you see this is boiling, and it's well mixed at this point. It's turned into a nice little toffee. And it's well mixed at this point. It's turned into a nice little toffee. So we're going to take this off of the heat, and we're going to spoon it into our tart shells. Now, you don't have a spoon. Well, we're going to use just one of these measuring spoons. I think we can use the tablespoon here and the teaspoon. We can each take one yeah. and start. I again got the big one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you just want to put enough in there to fill it. Yes. So for the tablespoon, maybe half. <laughs> yeah. And otherwise, it is about a teaspoon worth. Is that enough? Um, yes. The one thing with these is you don't want to fill them too much because they will also bubble up yes. while they're cooking. Yes, true. And then they will boil over, bubble over the top. Then make the uh, nice pastry very uh, soggy. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll take it towards our counter so we can work uh, better with it. Yes, that's a great idea. Okay, and here are some of those pecans that we've saved as well, and this is when they come into play. So what we've been doing is just spooning this in, but now I'm going to take these whole pecans and I'm going to put one in the very top of oh, wow. each of them, so it, it just lovely. sort of finishes them off and yeah. makes them very pretty. Nazreen, until we are filling all the tartlets with our pecan filling, you go to a little break.